Hello guys, welcome to our next video of Textileland tutorial. The next important folder which is inside of our main folder is Operation Scenarios. The Operation Scenario actually determine the data such as the output of generators, consuming of loads, tab of transformers, and the cable which are out of the service. As it is clear from its name, this operation scenario is defined only for the variable parameters. For example, if we open this generator, the active power which is used here can be an operation scenario. Because during the day, this power that the generator feed to the network may change based on the set point of our power. There are also some parameters that will not change during the day, such as nominal apparent power and nominal voltage. These are the fixed parameters that cannot be changed during the day. So we will work on operation scenarios that include the variable parameters. To make a simple operation scenario from this main model, which is one of the example of the island. We consider this as our base model and now I want to make an operation scenario from this base model. Let us create an operation scenario as base model. Click on file, then select save operation scenario as and name it as base model, then click OK. As you see in the project overview part, there is created a new part as operation scenario. And inside that, there is a new operation scenario as base model and is an active operation scenario. By right clicking, we can deactivate it and again we can activate it. If we click on the data manager, the operation scenario as base model is created in the folder of operation scenario. As you see in the base model, there is a content as grid. This is actually our active network grid that we already discussed about, which is in the folder of network data. If we have many grids in the network data, we will have the same numbers of grids in our base model. The grid that you see here is actually the subset of all the changing variables, which are saved inside of this grid. So there is a subset for this grid. For example, if we have one more grid as grid one, uh, then click OK to add it in our study case. If we enter to the base model, there is no added grid. So right click on grid one, then select show graphic and click on diagrams, then save it to the base model. Now grid one is added to our base model. So how many grids we have in the network data that numbers can also be in the base model. As we discussed that the operation scenario include variable parameters. Now how to know which parameters are variable and can be as operation scenario. For that right click on grid, select show graphic, then click on diagrams. Now the grid is appeared. Then activate one of your operation scenario if it is not activated. If we enter to any elements of our network system, all the variable which have a light blue colors are the variable that can change in operation scenarios. For example, if we click on this bus bar out of service and earth it can be changed. In the load flow tab, only these variables can be changed. In the protection, no parameters can be changed. The same as in optimal power flow, reliability, 
the open pine optimal and also description if we click on line only out of service can be changed and if we check the others no parameters can be changed here you can check for transformers generators loads and any other elements as a result all the parameters which are in light blue colors can be changed as operation scenarios but the other parameters cannot be changed so far we didn't bring any change to our network if we deactivate our base model again we see the same network without any change so now i want to give some examples to learn how to change these operated parameters and how to define these operation scenarios as an example if we select this line and open it is switch from both sides now you see that our line is out of the service now we can define it as operation scenarios let us name it as is off or switch it off then click ok as you see now is off is created in our system if we deactivate it it will go to the base model state in the base model the switch of this cable was not off so this was our base model state if we again activate the is off this line will be out of the service if we deactivate it again the switch off our line will be on now I want to create another operation scenarios in is of operation scenarios. If we switch off this line, as you see, next to is of scenario created a star. This means that this operation scenario was changed. Now we can define a new operation scenarios or save it to this operation scenarios. If we create a new operation scenarios from file, click on save operation scenario as. But if we save it to this operation scenario, right click on is of scenarios and then save it. If we deactivate it, we go automatically on our base model state. Let me give you one other example. And in this example, I want to consider a load which has a three states such as light load, normal load, and heavy load. So we should create a new operation scenarios for our load. We are on base model. Click on file, then click on save operation scenario as and name it as light load a scenario of light load is created do the same thing for normal load and heavy load we define three operation scenarios light load normal load and heavy load I want to work on normal load firstly. Let us execute the load flow calculation. As we see some of our bus bars are over voltage which are represented as yellow color and some of these bus bars which are in green color have normal voltage and there are also some of wires which are overloaded. Now let us increase the amount of our loads and see what will happen to our network system. To do this, let us activate our heavy load scenarios. If we calculate the load flow, there is no any extra changes. Let us increase our loads by 20%. To do this, from edit relevant, click on general load. From the load flow parts, we see all the active and reactive power of our loads. 
in order to increase the active and reactive power of our loads we can use from the option of a scaling factor as you see a scaling factor is in blue color so we can change them in operation scenario unlike the voltage per unit that we cannot change them change all the scaling factor to 1.2 Copy it and paste it to the remaining parts. Now all the active and reactive power is increased by 20%. For example, let us consider this load which has 500 megawatt active power and 184 MVAR reactive power. So right click on load 04 and then click on making graphic let us zoom it and calculate the load flow to see whether the load is increased or not as you see now our load is increased to 600 megawatt and 220 mvr if we consider the whole network the voltage of some of our loads are dropped and the voltage reach below of their range which is one per unit if we increase the amount of loads the load may not converge for example if we increase the scaling factor to 1.5 and calculate the load flow we see that it gives an error because the consumed power is more than the produced power to study our operation scenario, change again the scaling factor to 1.2. For the light flow operation scenario, we can do the same thing. Click on general load, then from the load flow part, decrease the scaling factor to 0.8. To check how the power are changed, let us check again the same load right click and click on marking graphic let us zoom it and then calculate the load flow and the power is decreased to 400 megawatt as you see our network is become a little better the green color is increased and the yellow color is decreased a little if we compare it with the heavy load we see that in a heavy load the state of our network is getting worse we have three operation scenario so we can compare them and learn more about this network system let us activate our base model again we can use the comparing tool of the design to consider overloading and underloading conditions for example activate the light scenario then click on the comparing of results take the load flow calculation and save it as case a then activate the heavy load and take the load flow calculation and save it as scenario of b now as an example let us see that uh, how our voltages change it in this network system if we zoom this bus we see that the voltage of this bus is dropped by 1.7 percent and the active power which flow through this line is increased about uh, 69 percent as it separates case a from case b it means that we have 69 percent increment in case b you can check the loads bus bars and the other elements let's go back to our bus model now i want to create an operation scenario on our transformers for example if we double click on this transformer from the load flow we see that the tap position and the automatic tap changing is disabled 
Now suppose that all our transformers have automatic tap changing and then consider the change in our network system and compare them which condition is better for us. So let us create an operation scenario and name it as automatic taps. Click OK. Now you see that a new operation scenario is activated as automatic taps. To enable all the automatic tap changing of our transformers, again from the edit relevant object, click on two vending transformers. Then from the load flow parts, tick on all the auto tap. and then take the load flow calculation. Here in the reactive power control, tick on automatic tap adjust transformers, then execute it. Now you see that the state of our bus bars network system is getting much more better than the normal one. And most of them become green. It means that the range of voltage in these bus bars stay on nearly one per unit. Of course, it didn't bring that much change to our cables because the control that the tap changer of transformers are performing are actually the reactive controller power. Now by using comparing of results, we can compare this scenario with our base model as we did before. Now in addition to this comparing of results, there is another option to compare our scenarios with. For example, if we compare these automatic tabs with base model, firstly we should deactivate all our operation scenarios. Then right click on operation scenario that you are going to compare it with the other scenarios. I am going to compare our base model, right click and select edit, then click on comparing. From this operation scenario, I want to select automatic tabs. If you open the output window, we can see the comparing result of these two scenarios. As you see, base model is considered as scenario of S1 and automatic taps as scenario of S2. And the automatic tap changings are defined in both of our scenarios for all these transformers. Now, if we activate our automatic taps operation scenarios once again, and from the load flow calculation, the things that it can do is adjusting the tap transformers. Now the transformers are adjusted, but they are not saved in our transformers. If we enter to that part of transformers, we see that the taps are the same as before. To bring these adjusted taps on our transformers, Click on update database, then execute it. Now if we look at our transformers, we see that the tap position is changed for all our transformers. Since the taps are changed for our transformers, so save it. Now from the load flow calculation, if we don't take the automatic tap adjust of transformers, and execute it, we see that we are still in the state that our transformers were adjusted. Thanks for watching. I hope that it was easy to follow and helpful for you. For more videos, please subscribe the channel.